in two minutes. Mm. Pamia is back, mm. and there's jubilation in some quarters. Mm -hmm. And there are those who are still skeptical and suggesting that we ought to watch it. Are we sure he's actually as well as um, is being suggested? Let's, let's, let's listen, watch him and listen to him when he returned and the things he had to say. So grateful to all Ghanaians, all walks of life, all religions, churches and mosques, for the prayers that they have done on my behalf when I took a medical leave. I'm so thankful and grateful for their prayers. And I'm happy that I have come back, uh, inshallah, in good health, uh, ready to continue work. When you go around, you take your health for granted. But it is when you don't feel well that you appreciate what God has actually given you. And when God gives you good health, you really have to appreciate it and look after your health. Uh, and I'm, I'm most grateful for that. Because as I, have, I was just saying in house, uh, good health is better than riches. I want to thank the president and the government uh, for what they have done uh, and continue to do to support me. But I don't want to forget my lovely wife, Samira, who has been by my side throughout these last two weeks. Thank the doctors and the nurses and the medical staff for all that they have done. All right, so this was a day after his arrival, but when he arrived at the airport, we, we have that one too. Let's show you when he arrived at, at the airport, when he was being met by the president, uh, what transpired. Okay, so for those of you who have the benefit of the television visuals, you see the vice president um, arriving and President Nana Dodanko Akufuado meeting him and they are together, you know, uh, on the red carpets and he is being received by uh, Frema Opari there hugging him. Also, you have um, senior minister <coughs> hugging him, Dan Boche there, is it? No, that's the Greek minister hugging him, Akutose. Um, defense minister, right, Ambrose Derry, he's being, okay, so he's going to hug everybody, right? I saw him do that, and I was wondering how he's going to do all of that. He's hugging the trade minister now, and shaking hands, uh, this Alima Mahama Ajia, um, Mustafa Hamid Sten, it's also, okay, he stretched his hand, and Dr. Baumia preferred to give him a hug, right? Okay, so a lot more uh, people, this uh, Samuel, Abu Jinapo, also uh, putting out his hand and the vice president preferring to hug him, uh, Mr. Mawu. And then, okay, so I was watching it, and this ICQ, <laughs> I was watching this earlier and I was like, okay, so why? Must you hug everybody? <laughs> okay, um, well, a number of people put out their hands, want to shake him, but he prefers to give them a hug. Okay. Uh, so that's the vice president in your shorts, right? And it was from there, the next day, he went to the mosque and we heard what he just had to say. So, how does it look for you? Ah, Samson, look, I am very happy he's back. And mm. by the way, <laughs> I put up something to say, yeah. you know, he's welcome to us. When people are saying whatever they want, look. Yeah, they said you, uh -huh. you, you didn't show <laughs> that you are the independent person that they thought you were. People should get this. Because you say the vice president is back and yeah. you say Twasso. And then you go ahead to say at least... Uh, make Samira you should a make first Samira lady. first lady. Samson, people should get this. I am not neutral. I think independently. You are I'm, not neutral. I am not neutral. In the face of right or wrong, the neutral person has taken the part of wrong. If you see an elephant with his foot on the tail of a mouse and you declare neutrality, you have supported the elephant. I think independently. I want this government to succeed. It's one of the best we've had since independence. I say it without shame. Baumia is one of the best vice presidents we've had. Today, treasury bill rates are going down. All right? I can go on and on and on. I want him to succeed. 
I hope he becomes president, and I hope Samira becomes first lady. That being said, let them make a mistake and see what I'll say. <laughs> so put that away. We want this vice president to succeed. Look, I am worried. Do you know why I'm worried? I believe he's healthy. But I'll tell you something. On my wedding day, I smiled so much, my face hurts. It's just my small wedding. You know? I was smiling. Because you have to smile, shake everybody. My small wedding, my face hurts. Your cheeks hurt. Yeah. If you've gone through it, you know what I'm talking about. Now I see a man who has just come from medical leave. He has a long line of people to shake and smile and hug. And then the very next day, he's in, at the mosque. He has to be praying. And I guess he would have met, met people. People would have met him. I imagine the people who have gone to his house just to show themselves that we care for you. Mm. And he has to make a speech. Goodness, let the man rest. So here's the point. It's so hard, this job, because he has to do it. But let us appreciate that he is only human. And whatever the nature of his illness is, personally, I think we should ship Mr. Baumia off, Dr. Baumia off, for another two weeks or so. Did you say ship just, him off? Yes, ship him <laughs> off to the north. Okay, okay, to get some more rest and let the guy come back because we need him to run this down. Okay. Thank you. So what you see is a healthy man. It's a healthy man. There's no problem. But I'm saying what we are doing as as is what done. will create more problems okay. for him. Okay. Yes, uh, Roxanne, what do you say? And uh, like he said, when they say you are not neutral, I keep saying you don't have to be neutral to be impartial. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Independent. Yes. Like the Supreme mm. Court. But you see, people's worry <laughs> is that the media, and particularly this particular platform, we have had to, you know, hold people up as independent analysts and so on. And then before we knew it, they were running for parliament on a party ticket. Oh. And we, we discovered later that they had belonged to the party long before. For so long. You know, and there's a long list of such people that we have, from academia, we have introduced as independent analysts. And before we said, Jack, <laughs> they were in government. Yeah. And not in government because they had been invited, but they had been willing. political people yeah. who had yeah. you know, found themselves yes. there. Uh, Sam, I, I have throughout this matter mm. been very sober. Okay. Because you see, we did it to Prof. Samos, oh. and uh, we later regretted. And so the health of the vice president or the president, or the four most important people, the speaker, the CJ, they have the best of medical uh, 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 services available to them. Uh, I am happy he's back, but I worry, like uh, Kofi said, that they are rushing. It, it was needless for that statement to be issued that he will resume work the next day. Was it necessary? You no. Know, here is a man that we, we, we declared ourselves that he had gone on a medical leave for two weeks, and he's back. So the fact that he's back, we should be careful in rushing him back to work. In fact, in the primariness of our everyday life, when somebody is hospitalized or returns from the hospital, the person is not rushed back to his everyday work. In fact, you are even given sick leave to heal properly. So, look, even, even in my small corner as an MP, it is, it is an adverse job. Mm. We don't sleep. People call you at midnight, and he tells you that this is when he thinks that he can get you. Mm -hmm. And you, you have no qualms. You must listen to him or her. So around the clock, 24 hours, ask him. He's an MP. He has a ministerial duty attached to that. It is not a joke. <coughs> Public service now, it is not a joke. Okay. Look, when I, when I was one, I had one gray hair. Now I have all of it all over my, 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 my head and my, my beard. So being the vice right. president Typical of the, of the president. characteristics we see in presidents. Yes. They are sworn it in is, and they have yeah, the fresh looking, looking but, faces. But you deteriorate quickly. <laughs> so okay. they should allow the vice president okay. to heal properly, to rest. Okay. And, but, but I see a change. This mm. is not the way Baumia talks. Okay. He's a fast, quick talker. Very, he jabs, but he's sober. He's, he knows what is happening to him. So okay. we are all beings. We must, we, must, we must feel for each other. I feel for him. Thank you. He's done so much. So let's, let's give him time to heal. Right. Thank you. Well, I, I had a very rare opportunity yesterday in the morning uh, to sit with him the on the same chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we greeted, and uh, I was very excited yeah, to see him, very healthy and strong. <laughs> right. 
I was indeed, in fact, I was, I was highly elated to see him back and uh, very strong. But I, I share the sentiments of my two colleagues who have spoken that it's, it's, it's incumbent on us to let him take a good rest because, you know, uh, healing does not take a day. Right. It takes a process. And to rush him back to work and put him under the same pressure he was going through, mm. I know that um, we will have to, and mm. he himself will have to revise all that Right. To make sure that he gets time to rest yeah. so that we can have him to do the work for us. We all know that there's no doubt that he's <coughs> an outstanding gem for this country. Yeah. He's a rare breed, in fact. Uh, you, have, you have very few of his type. <laughs> and, and we will need to protect him so that he can, he can bring that to bear for all of us to benefit. Let's all pray right. for him and, yeah. and, and hope that by the grace of God, everything goes well. Thank you. And, and like uh, Roxon said earlier, you guys, the job you do as MPs, not only the physical exhaustion, people contacting you, but you know, bringing their problems to you gives you stress. I mean, in my little comma, just as a, a lawyer, <laughs> you know, and uh, I didn't want to go to uh, that. Area. Yeah, just as a lawyer, people's <laughs> matters that you are handling, you know, and the passion and anxiety, emotion they attach anxiety. to them. Mm -hmm. And you too must go and <coughs> exhibit a similar, you know, they want you to be interest. In exactly. Yes. And sometimes it can be really, uh, really a lot of pressure. Kuku. Yeah. Yes. Well, before I deal with the substance, let me ask you for, uh, just permit me, uh, perhaps not very material for your program, but uh, my newspaper carried the story of the <laughs> vice president's return. Right. <laughs> And the headline was a disaster of a headline. <laughs> okay, return back. Okay. Yeah. And okay. we've, we've been bashed left, right, center. That's right. I accept the bashing okay. in good faith. Mm. Because such an elementary, inexcusable, unpardonable error. Okay. I take full and ultimate responsibility for that as editor-in-chief of the newspaper. So I want to apologize to our readers and uh, the general public. Mm. But we've been dealt with very severely, <laughs> especially on social media. Yeah. I accept it. Well, well, <laughs> no, I no, I'm sure, I'm sure he not. decided to be charitable. I wasn't involved at all. <laughs> you know, it often happens. we are too quick to be defensive. Mm. So what I was surprised about was that when I sent it to him, he said, this is a disaster. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it is. really? Uh, OK, yeah. he's okay. okay. it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. so, so I, I, mean, I hope we are forgiven right. and pardoned. Mm. Um, now let's deal with the substance. I'm happy the vice president is back home. I didn't say returned home back. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for me, he went out on basis of a medical advice to medical leave. I'm assuming safely that his return was also based on advice. Uh, medical advice. They must have, we don't know the exact, you know, problem that he had, but the doctors would know. And so if he's back and he's returned to work, ready, fit and ready to work, I'm assuming safely that he's fit for purpose. That does not necessarily mean that his schedule may not change. Again, we don't know. Mm. It takes time. So they may have given him a schedule that will let him grow into the same dynamic and spirit. So I'm assured that uh, we have him back. We need him. And uh, he's, he's going to deliver. Uh, I, I hear Kofi. <laughs> uh, I happen to be part of that consistency. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs> All right. Interesting. So we'll take a quick break here. When we return, we go on to the first issue, and this is how I introduce it, that the finance minister seems to be waking up to the real possibility of he losing his job over the 2.25 um, bond saga. As the minority NDC sustains action and threatens removal by censure, Ken Oforiata is heading to the court almost a year of NDC, quote-unquote, harassment and petitions. You know this has gone beyond the jurisdiction of Ghana. Over a month after the Shraj verdict, three weeks after a suit 
and over a week or so after another petition to Shraj, will his attempts now succeed or is it just too late for him? We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 